for. They just have to get there. If you look at Tesla, you're getting a very, very tight flag, okay? Uh, incredibly tight. It's been rejected now three times off the same level. If they could confirm. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly update show. Hope everybody uh, had a really good day. Uh, historical day, right? Uh, historical day. Um, today felt different. Um, a lot of optimism, uh, a fresh start, some clarity going forward. And before all, all you crazy, you know, political crazies start talking about, I'm not talking about the inauguration. Couldn't care less, right? Very happy that the country is moving forward, whatever the case may be, whatever your party affiliation. I'm not talking about the inauguration. Couldn't care less. I'm talking about beta, right? Today, you know, we've seen many days that beta names, and when I get for all you guys watching the broadcast for the first time, uh, beta is the stocks in the market that have the most exaggerated average true potential. Uh, your Amazons, your Googles, your Teslas, your Netflixes of the world, Apple, so forth and so on. And for months and months and months, despite the incredible strength of the market, we've seen them do absolutely nothing. And every single time they've got down to the bottom channels and they were right about to get thrown over the edge, they held and kind of started moving very higher. But we never saw a day that they kind of put a stamp on sentiment. We haven't seen that in a very, very long time. And last night, Netflix came out with earnings and we talked about is Netflix finally going to be at least the ax, right? At least the starting point, the tipping point, the, the flame that's gonna finally start the beta fire, right? And today we saw one of those days that if you do trade beta and you recognize how dead the whole group has been from time to time, you could really appreciate how aggressive today's session really was. And when you look at Netflix, and again, did the numbers really matter? I know a lot of people love breaking down numbers and headlines and all that stuff in between. You know, Netflix had an $85 move. And you could see here for months and months and months and did absolutely nothing. And this kicked off uh, the earnings for all these high-tech mega cap gorilla names. Uh, next week, obviously, you got everybody else, okay? But the moral of the story was today... Can these stocks finally live with prosperity beyond, you know, one candle, two candle, even one day of running? And if you saw today's action and how these stocks really behaved, it really did feel like a wild animal that's been in the wilderness for a long time and hasn't really had a good meal. And you look at these moves, the Netflixes of the world, the Amazons of the world, and again, 140 point move in Amazon. Google just went absolutely ballistic. Um, there was a bunch of others, and there's a bunch of others, you know, setting up for tomorrow as well. You know, Tulo had a big run as well. There's a lot of names I like setting up for tomorrow as well. You know, the Apples of the world and the videos of the world. So there's a lot of depth there left. But it was really good to see, at least for one day, that these stocks had more than a pulse, right? Today kind of fit, hit different. The buyers were very, very aggressive. The candles were exaggerated. And the most important part was they never backtested. They, there was really never a true backtest to even, even testing the rising support. And you haven't seen that. We haven't seen that in such a long time. And when they go up, it's a special feeling. I know a lot of you guys uh, are still in, right? Apple, Apple, uh, Apple really hasn't even really started the trade. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but for all you guys who are still in NVIDIA, excuse me, not NVIDIA, Netflix and Amazon had some Google overnight. You guys know what I'm talking about. It felt different. Uh, it hit different. It was kind of a special feeling that you haven't felt in a very, very long time. Now, the question is, can they do it again, right? Because you used to, you know, I used to get really, really excited, you know, the day after a major move in these markets and you saw a really big expansion. And I used to come on the video and say, guys, this is it. It looks great. They're finally out of the woods.
They've reclaimed supply. This is different. Look at all the call buying going on. There's big bets coming into earnings. And what did we see for the next th two, three weeks? We saw, we saw a little drift, right? We did absolutely nothing. So I'm trying to contain myself, right? The more I think about it, there's a lot of optimism, right? Like I said, new day, a lot of optimism going forward. That's for tomorrow, right? Especially a run-up, potential run-up ahead of earnings, right? Which is next week. But I also know how many times we've been down this road before. And the most important part kind of going into tomorrow's session is as much as I am optimistic, as much as I believe and hoping and praying we can get a day two out of a potential really aggressive volume average terrain expansion zone, I also know the level of disappointment that we've had in the last several months. So again, I usually tell everybody, especially new traders, you know, don't go into the next day with any type of, you know, anticipation, right? Don't go into it because what happens is when you do uh, anticipation and you're trying to build up the trade in your head, the next day when it kind of everything fizzles out, right? It's, it's like, again, like I've, I've used the analogy before. It's like a heroin addict coming down from a high and they're trying desperately to kind of recreate uh, that euphoria, that high that they had the previous day. Having said that, right? Having said that, if you start looking at the charts, you got to give these damn stocks the benefit of the doubt, right? Amazon did a phenomenal job today. And remember, a couple of days ago, we were just talking about literally a couple of days ago, how these stocks were very, very close to coming down to the bottom of the range, confirming that range is starting to go lower. They held, right? We held. We talked about this all the time. Don't anticipate. Don't anticipate. Don't overthink. And luckily for us, again, what we said in last night's video, nobody anticipated, right? We actually did the smart thing, let the price action play out, and these stocks reversed. And today, if you look at it, Amazon, it not only took out this 11, uh, 31, 90 area, and we'll talk about the pivots in a second. And by the way, I underestimated Amazon. Amazon gapped up today 30, 40 points. And the first thing I wrote today on the Twitter feed, and we talked about this um, in, the, in the live webinar, I said, just in case, I don't think it's going to get there today. But just in case any close over 3190, in my wildest dreams, I didn't think the stock was going to do what it did today. But I said, in my, if this stock potentially could get above 3190, I don't think it's going to happen. But, 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 again, underestimated Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos, right? You go, girl. Not only did it take out the 3190, it took out this whole range today of 3225. Again, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply, then you can see the next measure potential here at 3300. Now, again, you started seeing some pretty aggressive call buying going into uh, the earnings, the 3600s. I even saw a 3900 uh, buyer step in. So again, right? Hope springs eternal. If you can get a if you can get a week open and a move into rising 60 minute support. Obviously a red to green move would, would very, very be necessary for continuation. But if it starts confirming today's channel, uh, we could see a move into the 3315 level. Uh, same thing with Netflix. It, it gapped up today pre-market. Uh, it gapped up 252 highs, which is roughly 573. Again, we'll talk about the pivots in a second. It came in, and once that opening range high confirmed above 77, it was just a big, big move. Uh, we saw 600 weeklies. We saw 650s for next week. We saw 675s for the week after. So there's a lot of optimism uh, being bet on a lot of these names. Google went absolutely crazy today. Uh, it broke. We started talking about Google uh, yesterday in the video. It broke above this 1800 level, highest close in the whole formation. When was the last time you saw Google move 100 points that had nothing to do with earnings? So again, like we said, it felt different, right? It felt different. Institutional buying, no really big back test in the middle of the session to even speak about. And if you look at names like Apple, right? If Apple going into tomorrow, you can see it, right? You can see it. You can see this range being tested. If you look at NVIDIA, not macro-wise, but you can see first close reclaim not only uh, the five-day moving average, but reclaim the 50 as well. You could see the measure potential. Like, I don't think it'll, it'll get to this you know, 558, 560 level, but you could see where the next potential is as well. So we have a lot of value going into tomorrow's session. Um, the key is, I think, to just to have a level head. You know, I, I think anything could happen. Is it possible these things kind of take a day to digest? And tomorrow is an inside day for Amazon and Netflix. 
Uh, and Apple, absolutely, 100%. We've seen this movie so many times. It's so hard to, you know, it's so easy to get disappointed because we've, we've been there, we've been down this road so many times, we've been disappointed in the last two months. But I have to say, I'm a little optimistic that we do follow through. Only thing we could do right now is literally cross our fingers, cross our toes, and everything else uh, in between. Again, we'll see. You know, we'll see, said the blind man. We'll see. If you look at the other indexes, uh, IWM continues to be uh, a moonshot. You have the diamonds, right? You have the diamonds literally uh, flagging here, right? The diamonds, that 312 level. Uh, on the diamonds, if we confirm tomorrow, you know, we're going to go up to that 31,400 level on uh, the Dow Jones Industrials. Uh, Q's, I mean, what are you going to say? Q's are just, Q's are linear, right? Q's are linear. They keep on holding the bottom of the ranges. Uh, the bears are incredibly frustrated. Um, and again, every single time you think the market's going to roll over, the bulls really do a great job and step up. I think if you are... Uh, one side in this tape and you really are fixated to being right, you're going to be very, very disappointed because this market is just so darn strong. And if you're not looking at the internals and especially the price action, what they're saying to you, you could get very, very beat up in this tape, especially on the short side if you are uh, very, very stubborn. Every single day, one day at a time, one trade at a time, fingers and toes crossed. We'll see what happens uh, tomorrow. So uh, let's talk about today's uh, pivots, a uh, very aggressive session. And again, like I said, this is the first thing out of my mouth today. So Amazon might not get there today. It was up 50 points at the open. I said, I mean, there's a shot it gets there, but you know, I, I don't know. But I said, listen, any close over 3190, it took out 3190, put an initial high of 3208, retraced a little bit, a little bit, right down to like the 31, 97, 98. Once it took out opening range highs, it's a huge move, 75, 80 point move from the pivot. Um, I like Tesla a lot. Uh, these are the levels, guys. These are the levels going forward that I do like. Um, they just have to get there. If you look at Tesla, you're getting a very, very tight flag, okay? Uh, incredibly tight. It's been rejected now three times off the same level. If it could confirm, uh, you might get a move back up into this 885. Uh, we saw this week so far, uh, 875 weeklies being uh, dished out. So, you know, just we have to wait for confirmation. Again, don't do not try and anticipate the same we don't anticipate to the downside. We sure as hell don't anticipate to the upside. So it's very, very important to sit patiently and let these levels confirm uh, organically. Um, OPN, we talked about this, uh, excuse me, before we get to OPN, uh, XPEV, I missed. Uh, 55 needs to build, exploded right off the open. We talked about this last night in the video as well. Uh, 55, it went all the way up to 58 and changed before a pretty aggressive reversal. Uh, but I did catch this. Uh, this was the other one we talked about last night. The reason I initially put 1875, 19 into the Twitter feed, because it was, it was gapping pre-market into the 1860s and they came in. It opened below the $18 level uh, in the regular session. If you guys remember last night in the video, and especially in last night in email, if all you guys get it, $18 was the magic number. So we were lucky enough to catch that $18 break, and it actually went into the 1950s. So it was, even if you bought, uh, even if you bought the opening range break on INSG, you still did pretty well. Uh, it traded to the 1950s level, but that $18 break, we got a really good gift uh, opening up below 18 bucks on the regular session. So that was very, very good as well. I caught a pretty good move on that. Uh, ARC, we talked about OPEN. Uh, it stopped right at the 2950, 1223 highs and needs to reclaim. Uh, here was open, right? It stopped right at 1225. Uh, the 1225 highs at 12250 and it went to uh, 3130s. Great job for all you guys uh, who caught that as well. Uh, ZM got murdered, actually. It was kind of interesting to watch. Got, they really got hit, obviously got nowhere close to the 405 area. Uh, DraftKings went, went through 54, put in its initial high. It never put it, gave a second entry. Uh, Netflix I caught as well, um, 7250. Uh, 73 is 52 week highs. Again, the reason why I say ex experienced traders, the stock was up 70 points, right? At the open, it, it, certain trades are just not for every single body. So, but here's the trade. It took, once it took out macro, uh, that 73 level, big move. I, you know, I, I'd be shocked if this thing doesn't see the 600 level in the next several days, but then again, nothing shocks me anymore. So I wouldn't be shocked 
even though I will be shocked. Uh, so Netflix, again, uh, keep an eye on that. INSG, beautiful move there. Uh, big spike in Amazon. Open, obviously, take on the way. First move on supply into, into Amazon. Really good move there. Uh, 33, 33.11 next stop. I still believe it gets there as well. Uh, more 600 call buyers coming in. And that's about it. Uh, oh, this is a nice little after hours play. Some of these pivots are working pretty well after hours. FFOC, 1390.14, a SPAC name needs to build. Here was FPOC. I caught a piece of this as well. Uh, FPOC, what the hell is the symbol? FP, did I get the symbol wrong? FTOC, sorry about that. Uh, FTOC, right? So here is the big move int uh, intraday. And once it started breaking the 1390, 1390, $14 area, traded up to 1460s. Um, ADMP still hasn't got to the 144 level uh, after hours as well. So listen, you know, gr gr really good aggressive session. You know, again, I, I, I would be very, very cautious tomorrow in getting, you know, very, very excited overnight. We're hoping. We're praying, you know, th th these things have been letting us down now for months and months and months. The only thing we could do is be optimistic, right? It's a new day, right? New day, new optimism. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Guys, God bless. Have a great night. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.